enough when the creator of the universe speaks to you value that moment enough to record what what the creator has is saying what uh, what father god is saying write it down record it do something you just never know what will come out of that for me it was a song and so um i didn't have lyrics yet i think it was maybe another six months um, I was listening to the melody. I have several melodies recorded in my phone. And the story of Hannah came to my mind. Hannah is a woman in the Bible that was believing God for a baby. Um, her husband had conceived with another, with, um, with another woman. And um, his, other, his other wife had a child and pretty much made fun of her, picked on her every single year um, about the fact that she hadn't had a child yet. And so... Hannah went to the temple and uh, she was praying. I'm not going to do all the details, but she was praying in the temple so much so that the minister and the priest that was in the temple thought she must be drunk. So you can only imagine how how fervently she must have been praying and crying out to God, asking him for the promise because um, her husband always would tell her, you know, and she believed that God would give her a child. And so she said, prayed to God, and she said, if you give me a baby, I'll give him back to you. I'll, he'll serve in your temple forever. And so um, read the stories because I'm not going to go. I don't have time to go all the way through it all and, and teach you the story, but it's in 1 Samuel chapter 1. And if you look on the album cover or on iTunes, the title is The Promise, but in parentheses it says 1 Samuel 1. And that's why I did that because not only is it, my story, and not only is it maybe your story or another um, person's story that's believing for a child, but it's in the Bible. And I really believe in finding yourself in the Bible. Anybody else? Like, find yourself in the Bible. Who in the Bible is, has gone through, um, went through what you're going through right now? Because there's so much to be to be discovered and to learn and to see in the Bible when you see somebody that's that's lost, confused, that is be, that has been given an assignment that is like huge, like Moses um, or Jesus, who had to turn the other cheek when he had haters, right, and people that wanted to kill and destroy him, even though he had done nothing but loved on them. Um, find yourself, find your situation in the Bible because. You can see what God did for them and know that God will do it for you. And I, and so I found myself in the Bible. I have found myself in the Bible several different times, depending on what I was going through. And so um, with Hannah, the song, The Promise, is not only my song, not only maybe your song, but it was Hannah's song. And so you know what? God made it easy for me. I didn't even have to write the song, The Promise. I simply opened the scripture and saying the scripture so really cool think um do this sometime if you don't already have my album i do encourage you to pick it up because it is i'm hearing testimonies of people being blessed by um the album as a whole but especially this song the promise but check this out listen to the song open first samuel chapter one and read along because god literally had me just sing hannah's story um, and so, you know, year after year she waited for the promise had been made um, to her father long before that she would have a baby. Um, her father long before, Father Abraham, right, the first promise of a child where God made a covenant and said, count the sand, count the stars. You're going to have more children than that, which is why the song says um, that she remembered to count the sands and the stars. And sometimes when I'm having a rough day um, with not having a child of my own yet, still, um, there have been times where I just am reminded, you know, Angela, just remember to count the sand and the stars. I'm not going to have that many children, you guys. <laughs> that is not what I am saying. But what I'm saying is it just reminds me of the promise that God made to our father long, long time ago, Father Abraham, the promise to, to reproduce and to have children. And so um, so that's why I say that in the song. Remember to count the sands and the stars. Um, over and over in the song, the song says, I'm choosing to believe. I'm choosing to believe. And faith is all is a choice. 
God doesn't just do stuff for us. You know what I mean? Especially when it gets hard, when you've been waiting a long time. Let me tell you, stop and say this. This, this is the thing that God is doing with the song that I didn't even see coming. People have been texting me. Several people have texted emailed, inboxed me, and said, I'm not waiting, I'm not expecting God's birth child, I already have children, or whatever the case may be, but there is something else that God has promised me, and your song, The Promise, has has encouraged and strengthened my faith for that thing. So God is taking this song and encouraging everyone that is expecting God to make good on what he promised. I mean, so, so amazing. And I'm going to tell you, whether you're believing for a job, whether you're believing for a spouse, whether you're believing for your health to be restored, whether you're believing for financial breakthrough, whether you're be- whatever you're believing for, the song, The Promise, is it's the principle behind it, knowing that, like the song says, just believe in me, God says. My promises are yes and amen. If I said it, I will do it. And that is what God is saying to all of us through the song, The Promise. It's not just for people that are expecting a baby. It's for people that are that have heard a word from God, for God saying, this is what I'm going to do for you. God said in his word, I will never leave you nor forsake you. You will never be alone. God promised in his word that nothing can separate us from his love. Not even the worst thing you could ever do will separate you from God's love. And our mind will say, oh, my God, well, God is not, he doesn't love you anymore. He can't be near to you because you're a screw-up, you're messed up. Look at your life, look at what you're doing, even in your thoughts. Your thoughts are jacked up. God doesn't love you anymore. How could he love somebody like you? But the word says that his promises are yes and amen. That means if he made a promise to you, if he wrote you a check, honey, you can take that check to the bank right now. And it is even if it's post-dated, okay, if he said, you're going to cash this check in a year, you're going to cash this check in six months, you're going to cash this check tomorrow, you're going to cash this check 10 years from now, hang on to that check. If I wrote you a check right now for $1,000 and I post-dated that check and I said, this check is post-dated for October 2019, Let's say it was $10,000. Give a little bit more motivation. And let's say you know that I got a lot of money, right? You're not going to throw that check away just because it's not good until 2019, 2020. No, ma'am. No, sir. You're going to hang on to that check, and you're going to watch your calendar. You're going to be in expectation. You're going to be waiting. You're going to be excited, right? Like Christmas Day, you are going to be hanging on to that check, even if it's not for today, even if it's not for, come on, even if it's not for tomorrow. The promises of God are yes and amen. And when the time comes, that perfect time that God has set for your promise, whatever it is, to come to pass, it will come to pass. Somebody say amen. Yes, because that is what our Father has said. So you can take that to the bank. Take it to the bank. Somebody say, take it to the bank. Somebody say, I'm taking my check to the bank. Amen. Whatever God has spoken to you. And I I said in the song also, let's get back to the song. I done started preaching. Let's get back to the song, um, The Promise on my my album, I Am. um, The song, The Promise. It said that each year that passed by, it got harder and harder. Um, for her to believe, for Hannah to believe God for the promise. Um, And the song says, just keep on praying and just keep on believing. Just keep stirring up your faith. Keep building yourself up, okay? Um, Get in the Word. Read the Scripture and and remind yourself. Write the promises down. And maybe once a month or even if it's not like a, a, a scheduled thing, anytime that you start to get a little weak in your faith and believing, Open your journal up and read the list of promises that you believe that God has spoken to you because you have to choose to keep believing and keep praying. Get other people. I have about five women um, that, that are in my inner circle that I consider like my inner circle friends. I don't know where I would be without them. There have been days where I text them and was like, it didn't happen this month and I feel crushed. Pray for me, and I need to be encouraged. You gotta reach out to people, 
that will believe and pray with you, that will remind you what God said, that will remind you that the promise is for you. Get an inner circle, two people, one person, five people that are people of faith, men of, of faith, women of faith that will stand with you and that will believe with you. And the song says, I know that you'll do this for him and for me. I Back, here I am. Sorry for that interruption with my... My signal, like I was saying, I and I'm just gonna have to hold my phone. I think sometimes we forget that, um, like the song says, I know you'll do this for him and for me. And of course, in the story for Hannah, she was talking about for herself and her husband. And sometimes we forget that the husband wants a baby too. You know, we encourage the wife, we encourage the woman, keep believing God's gonna give you your baby. Your baby is coming, it's gonna happen for you. But the husband, he wants a child too. So fellas, encourage your brother that doesn't have a child yet. Don't forget that, that he wants a baby too and that the promise, the promise is not just for, for women. The word says to the man that your quiver shall be full, full of arrows, right? That you can shoot out children that you will send off to do the work of the Lord. So God is looking at the husband too. So if you're a man and you're watching this video, this promise is for you too. God, your your quiver is going to be full. Your quiver is is for the arrow that holds the arrow that you're going to send out into into the society, into the community, into the future to carry your legacy, right? Um, so the promise is for the man, for the man too. And so then in the song, um, God really led me to to let Him speak to people. And so the song, the language of the song changes where now it's God speaking. I'm going to try to scoot back over here now that my internet connection is back, where it's God speaking, and God is saying, um, be at peace, for I have favored you. That is straight from First Samuel chapter 1, where he told Hannah, be at peace, for I have favored you. Um, what, what I have spoken, I am willing, and I am able to do. God doesn't just tell us stuff because it's cute. He doesn't just tell us stuff so that we'll love him and, and then not do it. Whatever God says to you, he is willing to do. Otherwise, he wouldn't have said it to you, right? And he is able to do. God is not weak. He is strong. And there's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing too big for God. It's not too late for God to do what he has promised you. All right? Whatever God has told you that you can do and that he will do through you or for you, like I said earlier, take that check to the bank. Amen? Amen. Just believe that even if your promise has been delayed, it has not been denied. And that has been something that we probably, those of us that go to church, have heard, God, have heard people say for a long time that just because your promise is taking a while, just because it didn't happen the first time, you don't see it the first time that you pray. Doesn't mean that God isn't going to do it, okay? Doesn't mean that God is saying no. Sometimes God is just saying not right now. Like I said, if you're just now watching this video, go back to the beginning because I talked about the post-dated check promise. The post-dated check promise. That check got a date on it. And if it's in the future, it's still good to cash in the future. Amen? So just because your promise has been delayed doesn't mean that it's been denied. If you're a pastor and God promised you that this was going to happen in, that, in your ministry, that was going to happen in your ministry, you keep on believing. If you're a parent and God told you that this was going to be a breakthrough for your child, when your child grows up, they're going to become this, they're going to do that, and it doesn't look like it right now, what did God say? Pull that check out again and take a look at it. What did God say? He is going to do exactly what he promised. So, I, um, so I, I'm so glad that my song on my album, The Promise, um, the album is called I Am, but the song is called The Promise. I am so, so glad that, that people are hearing God's voice during this song. I'm so glad that people are being encouraged, not only those wanting children, but those that just are hanging on to a promise that God has given them. If you haven't heard this song, I encourage you, not because it's mine, not because I want to sell music, but because this is a song that God gave me to share with you all. So it's not even about me. There is some encouragement, some empowerment 
um, that some a reminder that God is trying to get to you and 